Nine News Mornings starts now. Let's start with where all of our brains are this morning, <laughs> taking a look at Ball Arena. We are still celebrating that beautiful Nuggets win last night and excited that Ariel Orsuna is going to be joining us in a few minutes, hanging out with us for the entire show today. Happy Friday. What a good way to yes, end the weekend. Absolutely. Did you notice the sunrise is kind of even Nuggets colors this morning? Okay. I think the universe, <laughs> think the universe is a little happy, yeah? Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> yes. Hey, I'll take anything this morning. After last night, Right. you know, why not? Yeah, that was a great they were game. good. They were business like they got it done. There was no showboating. They they led almost the entire game. Uh, yeah. uh, he couldn't have asked for anything. Made more. Miami look like amateurs a little bit. Didn't hate it. I will say it did have a lot of people saying maybe this could be a sweep. Yeah. <gasps> See, I, I thought, can I change my prediction? <laughs> no, exactly. yeah, I don't even want to say that out loud. It makes right. me nervous. Well, and Miami, and they looked a little tired, too, because, of course, they it was two days before right. they played. So, yeah, so like they do have it a little yeah. rough. And at altitude, good point. Hey, let's go outside, take a look, and see what we've got going on right now. And you see the showers and thunderstorms moving through Fort Collins this hour. So, yeah, we had them overnight, and they continue. But we see a little break right here. Look at the sunshine we will see, and then the showers and thunderstorms right back this afternoon. And if you've got some of those heavy storms in your area, yesterday, you know what heavy rains can come out of these storms. So generally we will be in the uh, just general uh, category for storms. The severe weather more out onto the eastern plains. So today 71 degrees, 60% chance for storms and Saturday and Sunday. We jumped that to 70% chance only 66 for your high on Saturday, 70 on Sunday and then Monday and Tuesday a slight warm up, but still storms remain in the forecast. Ed, thank you so much. Right now we want to show you what the drive is looking like. Pretty quiet as we look live from CDOT at I-25 and 23rd Avenue. We want to help you get out the door and show you what things look like across the metro. Actually, in the last few minutes, uh, this was closed. Highway 6 through Clear Creek Canyon that just lifted. Usually does clear around 5 o'clock this morning uh, from that overnight road work. So nothing to worry about there. But we do again have that Orchard Road closure for those bridge repairs between Broadway and University. So through the Greenwood Village area that is still impassable. As far as travel times go elsewhere across the metro, very quick drive into Commerce City on 76 westbound. You're dealing with just an 11 minute ride. All right, thanks so much for that, Erica. A mother is in jail this morning after Aurora police made a horrific discovery in a home. Nine News reporter Brianna Fernandez is joining us from the newsroom and Brianna police were at her apartment looking for her five year old missing daughter. Yeah, hey, good morning, Anusha. So that's right. So we want to warn you that the details to the story are very disturbing. Disturbing. We know during a news conference yesterday, the Aurora police chief, he said that his officers found decomposed remains of a young child inside the woman's closet. So the investigation started a few days ago when the child's grandmother called 911 and said her daughter, Alexis Nelson, had sent her concerning text messages. The grandmother feared for her safety, for the safety of five-year-old Mahali Hobbs. When officers showed up to Nelson's apartment, she told police officers that she gave her daughter up for adoption, but could not provide any records to prove it. Nelson was later arrested for attempting to lie to police officers. Now investigators obtained a search warrant for her apartment where they found human remains inside the closet. It was tough to see uh, our cops that had to find that uh, little angel in the condition they found her in and we're highly confident that this is going to end up being our, our missing uh, child. Now, according to the Aurora Police Department, the positive identification of the remains will be made by the Arapahoe County Coroner's Office. Nelson is now in jail facing several charges, including child abuse resulting in death. She's also being held in a $100,000 bond. Anusha. Oh, your heart just breaks. We've been seeing that little girl's beautiful photo all week. Thank you so much for that update, Brianna. Oh, a really tough story to hear. Well, right now, Aurora Police are searching for more suspects involved in a burglary that ended with officers shooting and killing a teenage suspect. Police say the teen robbed a vape store yesterday afternoon off 8th Avenue and Dayton Street. Police say one of them threatened the store clerk with a gun. When officers arrived, the kids ran and police say that one officer chased the kid with the gun, ordering him to drop it. Police say the teenager struggled with the officer before the officer shot him. The teen died at the hospital. Two other teenagers were arrested. New body camera video is giving us our first look at the aftermath of a really strange incident involving Avs forward Valerie Nachushkin, where he disappeared from the team during the playoffs. Police in Seattle came to the Avs team hotel where a woman in an ambulance was screaming about a bad man who had stolen her passport. Nachushkin wasn't there when police arrived. At no point did he report any crime, anything bad occurred. No, we just um, tried to get them separate. <laughs> 
I would just say no because my camera's recording. Well, officers' body cameras capture an off-duty Denver police officer and the team physician telling Seattle officers the intoxicated woman was in Nachushkin's room. They said Nachushkin was with another team security officer. That video also includes a conversation with the woman who told officers multiple times that a bad man had taken her passport. The Avs are still saying Nachushkin left the team for personal reasons. We asked Seattle PD if they're investigating the woman's claims about someone stealing her passport, but they haven't gotten back to us. This morning, we are getting new videos showing the moments part of an apartment building started to collapse in Iowa. Davenport City officials say that three people are likely still trapped in the rubble. Davenport City documents released this week show that people have been warning about the building's stability for months. A local electric and gas utility company was the first to sound the alarm back in February. Dangerous wildfires are still raging in parts of Nova Scotia, Canada. They're forcing thousands of people to evacuate. Drone video is capturing the massive scope of these fires where you can see the plumes of thick smoke. This morning, there are 16 active fires, three of them burning out of control. But this time, with all of our rain here in Colorado, we're hoping we don't see the same kind of smoke like we did a few weeks ago. Amazon is now paying out millions after allegations the company violated privacy with its ring cameras and Alexa devices. $25 million will be dispersed after federal authorities say the company withheld children's personal information. And when it comes to Amazon's ring camera, Amazon is paying out a further $6 million. Authorities say that's because they, uh, some of the devices left customers exposed to illegal surveillance.